Well, I've been saying it for a while, it only took a certain thing, a catalyst, to give them the reason to take away the internet. Now, it's a temporary thing and it is in France, but it is the beginning. Basically, what they're saying is that because of Snapchat and Instagram and other platforms like that, that the youth were able to get mobilised. And in some ways, this may well be true. However, it, it's one of those things that when we lose stuff, we never get it back. It's a bit like when the petrol prices went up, they came down a bit, but they always stayed up more than they were before. When, when they start saying that you have freedom of expression, but you don't have freedom of speech, and some of you may think that we've got freedom of speech over here, but we don't, this is in England. But in France, what happened was a, a young lad's been shot point blank range by a policeman who's um, now in a whole world of shit. However, what was he doing? What was his history? Uh, he was, uh, or had been a criminal. And I think he was due back in court. But like the George Floyd thing and others before, they make heroes out of criminals. And, and now people have gone out and decided to create all sorts of damage and violence in the name of, oh, it's unfair. Oh, it's racism. I've never understood why it is that people have to show solidarity towards racism by robbing a shop of its TVs or stereos, etc, etc, you get what I mean. However, it's a very serious thing that what they're doing over in France, and they're saying they're turning the internet off temporarily to stop any more further organisation of violence. Do I believe that? Well, I don't trust, uh, I don't trust the system, so... But this is one thing that we're going to have to watch out for. I think some they were mentioning it was going to be a lockdown of a sort, but it is what it is. When they start taking stuff away, it's a slippery slope, and this is exactly what will happen. The problem is with the internet is that people like myself and many like you go out there with a camera and you point it at awkward truths that they're trying to keep basically undercover. France doesn't want to show the world just what trouble that it's in at the moment and that's part of the reason of shutting down the internet especially in these places that are hot spots for violence but as I say it's a slippery slope when you start turning the taps off to people's freedoms and you stop basically letting people use the internet to say what they're doing where they're going whatever it's a bad day that's all I'm saying and you wait something over here will happen and they'll do exactly the same thing and slowly but surely People who go out there and tell the truth will be called troublemakers or inflaming riots or inflaming this or inflaming that. So the good guys will be pushed out and the bad guys will get a platform. That's generally how it works. And it's amazing. When you look back in history about how many people, say for instance on YouTube, that were, say for instance, um, directly linked to terrorism, that still kept their platforms. And yet the average guy who was calling out said terrorism or something else that's going on in the world or the obvious problem that you have that when you invite well invite the third world into your country then your country will slowly become like the third world it is what it is you know you can take a person out of the place that they were in but you can't take that thinking out of them especially not overnight and these people aren't assimilating and they have a huge level of crime over and um as we do here uh, brought with these people that have come from the third world or wherever it is. So, big troubles is what I'm saying. And uh, let's see how much more they turn the, the, the internet off and how more frequently, because this will just be the beginning, as I say, but uh, it's a slippery slope. Anyway, thanks for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing. We did a, a, an impromptu live earlier on and we had some really interesting calls come on. So if you're bored, put that on in the background and have a listen. Right, I'm off. I'll see you in a bit.